Hey, my name is Luke Fletcher and I am a cinematographer based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And today I'm making my first tutorial. For once I can say, I don't think there's enough videos about this topic on YouTube. Nothing is super clear. And that is how to use an anamorphic projector lens with a spherical lens to get a beautiful anamorphic image for very cheap. I'm gonna let you know every single part that you need and how much you're gonna have to shell out for this. And that amount is around $702. So this is my setup. This is the Ursa G2, uh, which has a super 35 crop. And then I also have an A7S III, which is full frame, which works great with the 58 millimeter Helios, but is about as wide as you can go on full frame for super 35 you can go as wide as about 45 millimeters before you start to get some vignetting. No matter what camera you have, I would just, I would recommend just doing exactly what I've done. Get the Schneider Cinelux, pair it with the Helios 44-2. It's beautiful. It is a gorgeous look. It's, it's actually cheating. It's cheating. It is, it's that good. I was on a seven day short film last year with this exact setup and I really put it through its paces and the rig held up just fine. Uh, it's definitely more of a pain than working with a traditional anamorphic lens, um, but you're gonna save a lot of money. And I think you also get a more artsy look than most professional anamorphics give you. So this is the Helios 44.2 silver version. The Helios lens has an M42 mount, so you will need to get an M42 mount to whatever camera you're going to. Since my Ursa is EF mount, this is a M42 to EF mount adapter. And then when I put it on my A7S III, I just use an EF to E mount adapter. If you can't find an M42 mount to your camera, just get it to M42 to EF and then uh, get EF to whatever your camera is because there's most likely an EF to whatever your camera's mount is. And if there's not, what camera do you have? And maybe it's time to get a new camera. Next is the 49 millimeter to 77 millimeter step up ring. Mine is already on the XL clamp because it is stuck and I couldn't get it off, but it just threads right onto the XL clamp and then you just screw on the lens. If you're using a different lens, you'll just need to figure out the correct lens filter size and get that step up ring. Uh, this is a very easy thing to just Google uh, and then just make sure it steps up to 77 millimeters because that is the size of the XL clamp from Mid-Atlantic. Then you put the anamorphic projector lens of your choosing into this clamp and screw it down. Uh, this may look a little janky, but it's actually really secure. Next comes the 77 millimeter front filter clamp from Mid-Atlantic and you screw that down to the end of the projector lens. Then you just screw on the SLR Magic rangefinder. It's 77 millimeters, so it literally just screws right on. This is what focuses the entire system. And boom, that's it. Uh, it's a monstrosity, but it really creates a beautiful image. You might be asking, how do I pull focus on this sucker? Uh, I saw most places say that you should throw the taking lens to infinity, but I found that, that it's not quite infinity for this lens and then you also probably want to be around an f4 because wide open is not very sharp and then throughout your shooting day you're just going to want to constantly be checking uh, to make sure you didn't accidentally bump your taking lenses focus uh, because then you'll never be able to get it completely sharp using the rangefinder uh, no matter what you do that happened to me on like two shots of the short film that i did and it still haunts me to this day Another thing you need to watch out for is that the projector lens is completely vertical. If it's not, the image will be slanted and gross. So if you end up going with a different lens than the Helios and the Schneider Cinelux combo or something other than an EF mount, the only difference is that you'll have to use different size step up slash step down rings to make everything connect together. And that stuff is pretty simple to Google and find out the size of. Um, plus, if you make a mistake, the, the rings are only like nine bucks, so it's not a huge loss. 
So here is everything mounted on my Ursa. I've got this uh, small rig lens support holding up the lens because uh, this thing is just huge. Your close focus with this lens isn't great, but, but that's where diopters come in. There's way more professional options, but I got these cheap ones off Amazon and they work great for me. The end of the range finder is 82 millimeters, so they just screw right on. And now lastly, let's talk about the little crap you gotta do. The image comes out extremely wide, so you have to sadly chop off the edges to achieve a traditional 2.39 widescreen image. This is the case with all two times anamorphic lenses, uh, unless your camera has a four x three open gate like the Alexa Mini. If you wanna learn more about that, there's a ton of videos on YouTube about it, um, but most budget friendly cameras do not allow you to shoot open gate unless I feel like maybe Panasonic or Fujifilm do for some weird reason. Um, so yeah, if you have one of those. Good. So yeah, hopefully that helps you on your anamorphic shooting journey. Uh, to me, this is just kind of a no brainer purchase. Um, super cheap, super affordable, and the image is just gorgeous. Uh, I'm a full-time cinematographer and I have used this on two paying jobs and I will use it again in the future. Um, you know, I also, I think there are times to use a traditional anamorphic lens, um, but a lot of times you don't always have the budget or sometimes you just want an even artsier look uh, than you can get from renting or purchasing an actual real anamorphic lens. It's definitely a lot easier to use a real anamorphic lens that's just all one body, but for a lot of people that is just too expensive, and I think this is just a really great way to be able to get into anamorphics and to find a love for them. It's really cool that you can dial it in so easily and you're also able to create a look that potentially nobody's ever done before. You should definitely, right now, Go check out the short film that I did. Uh, is God the same here? We shot the whole thing with the Schneider Cinelux and the Helios 44.2. I think it's a super cool film. I'm really proud of it. So definitely go check that out. I'll put a link in the description below for that. And that's gonna wrap us up. If you guys have any questions at all, leave them in the comments section below. I'll get on to them, hopefully. And maybe like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe.